Hi everyone. One of the things that still annoys me of this CNC is the x-axis carriage. I mean, it's probably better than regular linear rails because it offers high rigidity and higher travel in the same amount of space. But it tends to wear much faster, especially if the friction is between steel and steel. But that will be hopefully solved in a ridiculous way in the second part of the video. Now I want to thicken the carriage and so the internal gibbs. Look how thin are those gibbs. So I can start to disassemble it. Here I am facing this 30 by 12 mm piece of steel. I've welded in some points those pieces that are going to be bolted to the main plate. Okay, now I will try to do what I said at the beginning. I bought this sheet of phosphorus bronze. I know that this material has good bearing properties and I wanted to put a thin layer of it attached where there is friction. In this way, potentially, the sliding may be more fluid and since the guide is harder, the only part that will wear is the bronze, which is a real cheap part in this case. I mean, I don't think I will use this machine this much, however, I will prefer to maintain the accuracy that I have right now, even if not perfect, but still good enough for me.
I took the opportunity to rotate the carriage in order to have the bolts on the top. That was a mistake that I've done in the beginning. Putting the bronze layers was not really easy, but after a few trial, I managed to do this. Ok, some grease is needed. Another advantage is that the weight is increased slightly. Rotating the plate also meant that I had to make a new nut housing and I made it with brute force because I'm literally too lazy. Removing it wasn't a pleasure. This is it after heavier welding. I don't have too many footage of some machine parts after this modification because in this period I had many other things to do. However, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching.